Hi, everybody. This is Miss Nunez here to talk to you about my life. Like they say in Spanish, cada cabeza es un mundo. I say cada cabeza es a universe. So every mind is a universe. We're all so unique. Um, I am number three of five children. And they say that to understand today, you have to look at yesterday. Uh, I am uh, the middle child, so I was always flipping people off when I would say I was number three. Uh, I grew, I was born in Chicago, almost born on an airplane, uh, but I lived there till I was three. And uh, then I continued my life in Panama. Uh, so I am very bilingual and bicultural. As a child, there were lots of children around. Uh, you can see in this picture, that's my mom and my dad on the right. And I wonder if you can guess which one I am. As a child, I had a great imagination and loving mom. I entertained myself really well. I drew pictures everywhere, even on the walls. And my older brother was a bully, but I always fought back and I played make-believe all the time. Some of the difficulties that I had uh, were my abusive father, physically, emotionally, and verbally. But he traveled a lot. Uh, he was a womanizer, cheated on my mom. Uh, and his difficulties with alcohol abuse, prescription drugs, and his mental illness was very difficult. That led me to be very, very nervous. Uh, as a, um, as a child, I know that my father had cerebral palsy. He was a breech birth, but he uh, was incredibly intelligent, worked for the Panamanian government as an economist uh, for the president, and he was very patriotic and loved our country. My mother is also a huge influence. She taught me how to survive. She was very productive and a bit codependent. She always put the children first. She eventually survived my father's suicide and overcame many difficulties of her own and kept our family together no matter what and eventually got her own education and worked at the Denver Housing Authority. Uh, my la life totally flipped when we had to move after my father's death. I... Um, experienced culture shock, didn't speak English, uh, went from the top of the world to the bottom of the pit, so to speak, economically, and uh, had to adjust a lot with uh, the changes of our life when I was 12. Uh, but eventually I adjusted and survived and um, went to middle school, junior high back in the day, and adjusted pretty happy at that time. Uh, but I had some difficulties uh, adjusting. I always felt like I wasn't quite um, neither, neither here nor there. Half of my heart had been broken and left in Panama. So um, as a teenager, I started to rebel, you know, uh, felt very alienated, started ditching school, had a lot of fighting and anger and rebellions, and my grades started slipping, so there were some problems there. When I was 16, my mother remarried, and my stepfather and I did not get along. I was working uh, at a restaurant, had getting my own money, and so we had a fight, and uh, he said, you don't like it, move out, and I did. But I couldn't make ends meet on my own, and gee, working at a restaurant, is this my life? So I was trying to figure things out. Um, I was in love, and I uh, fell in love with the Japanese culture. A lot of identity uh, confusion when I was 16, and in love with a 26-year-old. Uh, but uh, he and my mom made a deal that for me, for us to get married, I had to finish high school. And I wasn't happy about that, but I moved back in, went back to school, and finished high school when I was almost 19. Uh, I did graduate from um, North High School at, at 19. 
uh, and he was 10 years my senior. I went to Japan twice, sponsored by the company I worked for as a, as a waitress. And then the following year, I went as an English tutor. And I grew up in a hurry, but I still didn't quite feel very happy. Still confused with my identity. So after seven years of being unhappily married, I wanted out. So I initiated a divorce. And about a year and a half later, I remarried uh, with someone from El Salvador, as you can see here. Um, so um, I worked in different places, five years in a vegetable company, five years in a meat company. And, you know, I did not like how people were racist and uh, treating others wrongly. So, you know, I was noticing things that I was not happy about. Um, I really, really uh, appreciated and respected different cultures, as I do now. Uh, my husband's mother did not learn how to read. Uh, she was a school dropout at kindergarten, and I felt as though education is the key. And I felt as though, and still feel as though, um, there must be something we can do to make um, life more fair. Um, and after a couple of years of trying to be a cartoonist, finding that you can't pay rent on that, uh, I went back to school and um, I had been working as a translator at Adam City High School and that's when I noticed that I didn't like how education was. I thought that it was really unfair. Uh, so um, I found the key and that was through and is through education. Uh, even though I felt like I didn't belong, I felt like I wanted to make things fair uh, for others by um, working for equity. So even though equality may seem like the key, equity really is the way to go. So then, um, after uh, some time as a translator, I decided to get my own um, credentials in um, in teaching school. So I went to uh, work at my place where I feel like I belong, and that is in Radham High School, uh, my neighborhood school. So finally, I found the place where I belonged. Um, I began working in my first job at a school uh, with Westminster High School, uh, later to become Westminster High School, and I have taught just about everything in language arts, and also back in the day it used to be ESL, then ELL, and then CLD, which is what it is today. I have an associate's in general studies from Front Range, a bachelor's in English writing, a master's in education, and a secondary endorsement in bilingual education. I really feel like I have found my dream. And my life today is as happy as I can be. Uh, I have a loving family. Uh, my two adult children uh, are with lives of their own. Uh, I have my mom healthy and near me. I love seeing her every Sunday. Uh, I belong, and this is my place to be. I have, an, I have achieved my dream. I wake up every morning eager to get to work uh, because I get to be here with you, and life is good. Thank you for listening.